In this video, I'm going to show you how to ace questions on your math test that involve circles. So get out a paper and pencil, you won't need a calculator, and get ready to learn. Read the question carefully, pause the video, give it a try before I go over the answer. When I read the question, I like to highlight um, the most important information. So as I'm reading this, a Ferris wheel at the local fair has a diameter of 52 meters. So the diameter and 52 meters are very important. Which expression can be used to find its circumference, C, in meters? So what is circumference? Circumference is the distance around the circle. I'm going to highlight that right here. So the green circle is the circumference of the Ferris wheel. The diameter is the 52 meters you see across. We have an equation for circumference. It's C equals 2 times pi times r. R in this case is radius, pi is that magical number 3.14 that works for circles, um, anything with circles in the problem. So in this equation we have radius but not diameter, but the problem gives us diameter. So the radius is actually half the diameter and I'm highlighting it here with this green, air, uh, green line. So if we know that the radius is half of the diameter and the diameter is 52, then we know that the radius is equal to 26. So rewriting this formula, I know that the circumference is equal to 2 times pi times 26. And if I if notice, I take the 2 times 26, that's going to give me 52 pi or 52 times pi. Looking down at the choices that are given to me, I know that choice B is the closest answer. In the next problem, I'm going to show you another secret to circumference using diameter. Read this question carefully. Pause the video. Give it a try on your own. Then I'll explain. Now that you've read the problem, did you highlight the most important words? A bicycle wheel has an inside radius of 12 inches. So that radius term and the 12 inches are very important here. So a radius is this green line. It's half the distance across a circle or the distance from the center to the outside of the circle. 12 inches is also very important. Which expression could be used to find the inside circumference of this wheel? The inside circumference is this highlighted green circle. This is kind of like the question we did before. We know the equation for circumference. The equation for circumference, the most common one used, is C equals 2 times pi times r, or 2 pi r. I can substitute 12 in for the r. So now I have 2 times pi times 12. Let's take a look at the possible solutions. Do you see one that possibly lines up with our answer? I do. It's choice B. You may be thinking that that is not exactly what you see here for our equation, 2 times pi times 12, but multiplication allows you to rearrange these terms however you would like. It's the associative property of multiplication. So we can rearrange this to 2 times 12 times pi. It means the same thing. So the answer B is the right choice. Read this question carefully. Pause the video. Give it a try on your own. Then I'll explain the answer. This circular stage has a radius of 25 meters. So again, we have some important information here. Radius of 25 meters indicated by the line here. Which equation could be used to find the area of the stage in square meters? So in previous questions we were talking about circumference, which is the distance around the circle. This is talking about the area, which I highlighted here in green. You must know an equation for the area of a circle, and it's always the same. The equation is 
a equals pi times r squared. You must memorize this formula. If we substitute the 25 meters, which is our radius, for, for r, we now have an equation a equals pi times 25 squared. Because we don't have to do the actual calculation, we are going to look to see if that matches up with any of the answers shown below. Do you see an answer that could possibly fit? I do as well. Choice C in this case. Read this question carefully. Highlight the important terms. Pause the video and give it a try on your own. When I read questions like this, I try to visualize what are they talking about. So a circular tree trunk has a diameter of 8 feet. So I highlighted the diameter of 8 feet part and I'm envisioning a tree. And I'm thinking, all right, the diameter is some line that goes in between this tree. But maybe if we viewed the trunk like this, we're talking about the diameter across is about 8 feet. You can kind of see that here. Which equation could be used to find the distance in feet around the tree trunk? So what are we talking about? We want to know how far in feet is it around this tree trunk, which is another word for circumference. The circumference is the distance around the circle. I told you earlier I was going to tell you a trick about circumference. We know one equation for circumference. It's c equals 2 times pi times r. We also know this. Circumference is equal to pi times diameter because diameter is equal to 2 times the radius. So the radius is actually half the diameter. So 2 radii is equal to the diameter. So we're actually substituting 2 times r and just calling it d. So if we know d, which is 8, and we know pi, 3.14, then we now know the distance around the tree trunk. Circumference in this case is equal to pi times 8. Do you see an answer above that matches that answer? You'd be correct if you said b. This question is another application of knowing about circles, circumference, and area. Read it to yourself, pause the video, and try the question on your own. The top part of this hat is shaped like a cylinder with a diameter of 7 inches. Remember, I highlight that important information. Which measure is closest to the length of the band that goes around the outside of the hat? So we're talking about this band and it's going around the outside of the hat. So what are we talking about here? Are we talking about area or are we talking about circumference? Are we talking about something different altogether? Well the answer is the distance or around something that's a circle is also known as circumference. So that distance, this green circle, is the circumference around that circle. So we have that equation. Remember, we have 2 now. Circumference equals c equals 2 pi r or pi times d. Which one did they give us in this case? They gave us diameter. We have a diameter of 7 inches. So I want to use this equation, pi times d, to solve our problem. In this question, we actually have to calculate or at least estimate to get it close to our right answer. So we know that pi is equal to 3.14, and we know that the diameter is equal to 7. So before you break out your calculator, because on this particular test it's not allowed, I want you to think about how I could estimate that problem or that answer. When I estimate, I first take the 7 times the whole number here. So I've kind of rounded this down to 3. So 7 times 3 is 21. Immediately, I can eliminate choices A and B. They are not going to work here. The question is, how much is this 7 times 0.14? It turns out that that's about mm, close to 1. So the overall circumference, any guesses? is going to be 22 
inches. I have one last question for you. Read the question carefully, highlight the important information, and attempt to solve it before I give you the answer. Pause the video now. Okay, a dime has a radius of about 0.85 centimeters. Highlighted that. Which measurement is closest to the circumference of a dime? So now we're talking about circumference and it looks like we're going to have to do a calculation. I immediately start thinking, here's a dime. So I'm visualizing. What is the circumference actually meaning? It's the distance around that dime. What did they give us? Radius? Okay, 0.85 centimeters. Well, what is a radius? It's the distance from the center of the dime to the outside of the dime. So I've highlighted that here. Now I need an equation that fits what information I have. So if you remember from earlier, I have an equation. Circumference equals 2 pi r, or we talked about one circumference equals pi times d. Which one should we use? The answer is circumference equals 2 times pi times r. But we're going to actually have to estimate the answer here. So here's our equation followed by our substitution. 2 times 3.14 times 0.85. Let's try our estimating technique to see if we can get close to the correct answer without a calculator. I would round the 3 down to, or the 3.14 down to 3 and 0.85 up to 0.9. To multiply, we take 2 times 3, which is 6, times, if you take 6 times 9, which is 54, and think about it moving the decimal over one place, we get about 5.4 out of this estimation. That's no calculator. Which answer out of the four choices given is closest to what we have estimated? If you chose choice D, then you are correct. Nice job.